Okay, we're going to do a one word canvas and to start with we're going to add a little bit of collage paper to our back uh, the back side of the canvas and I'm using Liquitex matte medium for that. Um, the way that I'm going to get this started, I've just taken some random papers and the way I'm going to get it started is squirt a little bit of the matte medium out on the canvas, use my uh, old uh, card old credit card, old hotel key card, and I'm spreading the matte medium out on the surface. I also want to put some of this matte medium on the back side of the paper, and then I'm going to put wet sides together. So um, place it, position it so that the back side is down, and then scrape it into place. I'm using the edge of the hotel key card or the, this uh, Starbucks card to tear off the edge. That's a nice straight edge. So you don't have to cut these pieces precisely. And then I'm going to continue to add layers of paper going every which direction. This is dry I can come along the edge with an exacto or a scissor and um, get the excess bits of paper off of here. You want it to be really dry though so if it's still a little bit gummy like mine is um, leave it so I'm just going to leave it for now um, and when it's super dry it's easier to get it off. Now if you let this dry overnight then this the, the surface of the canvas is not as bouncy but because I want to get this um, done. I'm going to go ahead and push forward. So I'm going to select my word and I think I'm going to pick the word light. You can print these out, print out uh, your own selection of a word on your computer and um, the canvas measures two by four. So you can pick your own word. I've uh, given you some transfer paper. One side is a little bit darker than the other. You want the dark side down and then you want to center your word on the surface and then with a ballpoint pen and if you want to tape this into position so that it doesn't shift that's a good idea but it should be just fine. So my word is on here now. It's hard to see from the camera, but I can see it. And now I'm going to take a bit of opaque paint because I want it to really block out what's in the background and paint those words in. I'm just using a little fine tip brush. It's a little flat brush actually. can always come in and add a second layer to make it um, a little more smooth. Stop. Okay, so I'm going to finish this off by adding some uh, black line around it. You can use any fine tip black pen or even a pencil. Um, we just want to add a little more definition around these letters so that they pop off the page or off the canvas. Up on an easel and set it um, at your desk or wherever you like to remember your word for the year.